Have you ever wondered what it's like to watch a hockey game in Moncton, New Brunswick, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Charlottetown, St. John? By no means are these cities NHL cities, but we do have a pretty good league of our own called the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. And in that league, all of the cities that I've mentioned have teams. Now you might be wondering to yourselves, what's it like to go watch a QMJHL game? What's it like to watch a level below the NHL? Well, I'm Noah from Noki Travels, and I'm about to show you what a QMJHL game is like. So if you remember one of my previous Moncton videos, you know that we were exploring downtown and you'll know the Wildcats weren't playing the night that we were actually in the city. But tonight is a different night, it's a couple months later, we're in town and the Wildcats are playing. I'm here with my good friends Oliver Creamer and Aaron Litvak and we're going to be watching this. Oliver's never actually seen a pro hockey game before. I've never seen a hockey game that is beyond just like junior Casual, kids league. Terrible. Well this one's going to be a lot different. The skill is going to be better and the crowd is going to be way better. So let's head inside to the Avenir Center. This is actually the first time that I've gone to an event with a large crowd since before the pandemic. This is my first time inside the Avenir Center, actually. I don't know why I've had the chance to, but I just never have, so. I did not know that Moncton had such a good sports arena. This is amazing. This building is less than six years old, and it's absolutely amazing. The sound, the atmosphere, the crowd. You got the fans all riled up. We're all ready to go. I'm so excited to see my first game here. This is awesome. This is so cool. So in tonight's game, the Moncton Wildcats are taking on their rivals, the St. John Sea Dogs. It's always a classic when these two teams play in this league. They're always intense physical battles. I'm a hockey fan. I've always been a hockey fan, and I'm so excited to watch this game. Together. Together. A quarter century of Wildcats hockey. A quarter century of Wildcats hockey. In Moncton. We're here. It is 0 0. <laughs> so, to summarize what's happened so far, St. John has been absolutely killing Moncton. We've hardly had any offensive pressure. Really good defense on St. John's part. We've been able to stop everything that they've thrown at us so far. 0 0 right now. So, now we're just walking around a little bit. Aaron has some food, so he's not with us right now. This and is great. I'm having a really Time. It's fun coming to hockey games, isn't it? When everything's indoors, they can manipulate all the lighting and the, there's lots of echo and it gets really loud and it, the atmosphere. It's different from soccer, not necessarily better, but different and I'm, I'm liking it. That's good. And of course, what's a Canadian hockey game without a little bit of Tim Hortons? That's right. And now they're playing Motley Crue, so I have to mute this. Go Cats, go! That was 
was offside. The person with the puck has to cross the blue line first. If anyone else crosses, then it's offside. And the play is blown dead. This has been hockey with no travel. That's on lost a stick. He's gonna go to the bench. He might be shaken up. Puck is centered. Picard scores. <laughs> And just like that, St. John's up 1-0. Go well, at the left point, now middle of the point, Derange. For a new four top of the left circle. For a post shooting pad save, another chance and they score. in front, Reynolds deeks and scores. I'm sad I didn't film that because that was actually like a really, really nice goal. Absolutely through the goalie, like he needed a map to punch like that. <laughs> Filthy, I tell you. Both teams are having really bad power plays right now. Haven't been generating opportunities at all. Timebell in front for Kalmakov. He had a shot, now he fires and scores! Yeah. We're not out of this yet. Not entirely. We're still getting our butts kicked, but we're not out yet. <laughs> And just like that, the second period is over. So after two periods of play, St. John has still been the dominant team. The shots are 32 to 8 for St. John. 3-1, St. John lead. Moncton showing a little bit of life near the end of the second period. Moncton's been having a hard time getting shots. St. John's defense has been a brick wall. At least Moncton got some shots. moves in, fakes, looking back door, that's blocked, sharp angle, chance, and Lawrence scores. Oh, with just under six minutes left, St. John takes the lead. Unfortunate rebound. 4-3 ah. St. John. Open your eyes, 
Please, Raph! <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what happened. Holy crap, the puck just came right into the crowd. Man, we almost got killed by a puck. I guess we are in splash zone. Build of intercepts. Build of ahead for new four. Empty net and he scores. Well, that seals the deal. Empty net goal. We couldn't get it done with the extra attacker. 5-3 St. John. Just so we can beat the traffic, we're gonna head out early. There's no way we're gonna score two goals in a minute and 12 seconds with the way we're playing tonight. So we're gonna try and beat the traffic. I had so much fun watching this game though. St. John was 53rd of the season. So 53rd goal of the season, <laughs> holy crap. St. John guy just got his 53rd of the season. That's ridiculous. The final score of the game was St. John 5, Moncton 3. We kind of saw it coming. They had double the shots that we had. You know, it's not the result that we wanted, but we still had fun. This was Oliver's first time going to a Wildcats game. Well worth it. I think he enjoyed it. I paid $15 for my ticket. It was a student ticket. I'm only 19, so I got the student discount for that. Normal price is $20, which is still a steal for being that close to the ice. So if you live in Moncton or any of the major cities in the Atlantic Canada region, odds are there is a QM JHL team that you can go watch. Tickets are cheap, the atmosphere is so much fun, and it's always an entertaining way to spend three hours of your evening. So in conclusion, was tonight worth it? Yes. Yes it was. That's gonna be it for this week on Noki Travels. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to enjoy the destination, but love the way there too. I'll see you guys next week.